about this trigger of this trigger. So that I can see. All comfortable? Look directly ahead. Okay. Look directly ahead. Oh, we set that? Um, the ship that you see on the left there is the USS Aegis. That's the new ship we're going to be on today. First of its class. And we're going to run you guys through a real quick Starfleet Academy training video, and then I will see you on the bridge. Touch that center button. Oh, yeah. Back on warp, set person. There we go. And now you can go back to the local map. And if you look out the window there, you'll see we need to align the ship with these chevrons, get these all lined up. So keep moving to the helm. And you'll see a huge silver throttle. And you need to push that forward and we'll engage warp speed up. Oh, engineering, we'll just need you to charge warp coils again, please. All right. Then you can press that large silver throttle. Let's steer it further to the left. See it? It looks like a giant big silver icon. Keep looking even further left. Keep looking. Oh, who's one? There you go. Woo! And now. So if you hold down the X button on your left hand tracker, you can look around at our space view. Which is pretty crazy. There's a lot of debris out there. All right. So Robert, at tactical, I'm going to need you to target one of those escape pods that you see on your map. Target the first one that you come across, please. Both one of you. We did that? Yep, so now you're good. So you can scan that. If you look down, there's a scanning button. Oh, okay, so I have to keep the target all the time. You can press it once and it'll keep the target. So if you remove that hand, it'll still keep the target. There you go. But now you can use your left hand to toggle the scan button, which is just above the phaser button that you're on there. So just above that and a little bit to the right, you'll see the scan button. Oh, yes. There you go. And so now I'll start scanning that. And Helm, if you want to go ahead and give us some power to engines and drive us closer, we'll go over there to that target. We'll try not to hit any. Well, I can't decipher the, um, you know, I can't decipher the signs on the display. They are not sharp enough. I really don't know. Okay. All right. Survivors found? Uh, I, well, there's no sign beyond the, the, the survivors. Okay. Engineering, if you look on your left panel, all the way to the left of your panel, do you see a little icon at the bottom there? On your left, all the way to the left, that big iPad looking right there. Keep looking at Ebert's front. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Is there anything at the bottom of that? You should see an icon. Can you click on that? See if we can get some survivors locked. 
There we go. Now we're locking on. Fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and beam these people aboard if we can. All right. Let me know how many people we have left in here. Okay. Keep clicking on those guys. There we go. We got five of six. All right. And now if you press the energize button, please. Energizing. Great. All right, so Helm and Tactical, if you want to target the next pod that you see, please, then we can fly over to the next pod and we'll do the same thing. We just need to beat those survivors aboard. So let's see if there's any more out there. Uh, on your targeting panel, you should be able to target the next escape pod. There we go. And Helm, if you want to fly us over there in that direction to the left. Uh oh, we got a shifty cloaking, guys. Cling on. All right, let's go ahead and try to rescue these people first, and then we'll worry about the Klingon. He hasn't shot at us yet. Nice, we have to get within 15 kilometers, and then we can scan. All right, I see the Klingon. He hasn't fired yet. Let's re-check that pod there. We can go ahead and scan. Uh-oh, we're taking damage, taking damage. That's all right. Let's keep scanning here. Nice, moving in. Good job, guys. Now, let's wait just a second. Okay, let's scan that for light forms, tactical, please. You can hit the scanning button, tactical. Robert, hit the scanning button just above you there, on your left hand. There you go. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, drop the shields. Robert, can you bring the shields down? Dropping. Shields. Drop shields? Yep, drop shields, sir. It's okay. We can take some damage. Sorry, have your shields. All right. How many people are we at engineering? Three. All right, let me know when we get to six, and feel free to energize. Tactical, if you want to target that Klingon, we can start shooting at it. You should see the Klingon Warbird on your tactical view and be able to target that. So so energize, energize. Shields down. Leave shields down. All right, transport complete, we got them. All right, guys, we're taking a lot of damage. We can put shields up now, please. Nice job, everybody. All right. All right, guys, we're at 50% health. Oh, no, we just lost a red shirt. Red shirt's down. All right, guys, I think we need to just make a case and get out of here. Helm, if you could go ahead and go back to the warp map and plot us a course for home, please. All right, and send it to Trivium. Yep, sounds good. Engineering, I'm going to need you to charge warp coils, please, man. Helm, yep, bring us around to the right. That's okay, we've got their shields up, but that's all right. We're gonna bring these guys around to the right, and we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here. All right, here we're coming around, coming around. I think that Klingon bugged out for a second. He might be behind us. All right, let's keep those warp coils charging. All right, we're almost ready to warp out of here. All right, Helm, punch it with that big throttle on the left. There it is. All right. 